part one. My name is Johnny Aitchison and tonight I'll be doing my first night of the six months that are yet to come. I'm down here with one of my local team members, well I'm one of his team members, he's called Big Mitt, also known as Michael McGoggle. He's been probably my fishing guru now for the last, well probably about the last year and my god has he helped me out a lot. So what we're going to do tonight, we're basically just going to run through a few little different tactics and also point out the places where I'm going to be fishing. Like I said it's the first night that I'll be doing uh, over the next six months and hopefully this night's going to be pretty productive. So enough of me talking now, let's get down to the swim. It wasn't long after arriving to the swim when Michael was in full battle curve with one of the ghosties from the lake. <laughs> The sunset behind the trees on the island, Michael was in yet again with what seemed to be a much bigger fish. At this point, our thoughts of going into the night were very high. into the net, we soon realised it was one of the pristine commas from the park lake. After releasing the common, we both sat down and got our rigs ready for the night that was yet to come. We both entered the night with high expectations of banking at least another carp. I brought you something close to me And left with something new See through your hair The next morning we both woke up at first light looking for any signs of carp in the area After watching the carp drift in and out we decided it was time to get the rigs ready and the spots faded Right, so I just pretty much thought I'd clarify you with now what's actually just happened. Fortunately, due to the fact that I forgot to bring um, any light down last night, I wasn't able to get any footage apart from when it was just, the sun was just pretty much gone. Um, a few of the anglers, well, like the local anglers came down. We had a little bit of a social talk about like a few little memories that they've had, and also their past experience on Martin and all sorts of the lakes. Um, at the beginning of the session, Big Mick, as he always does, had two fish. Fantastic koi, which is probably about eight pound. 
uh, followed by probably about a nine pound comment. And throughout the night, nothing really happened at all. Just even on Michael's rod, six rods between us and not even a single bleep all night. Um, well, it's because the car went round to the shallow end or round to the other side of the island. I, I, have, I really don't have a clue. Um, but the one thing that I did find out last night is that this swim doesn't really fish well. So the rest of the morning we'll see what happens and hopefully we'll get one. After four hours of watching the carp swim in and out of the baited areas, it was clear that they were not interested in the baits. So it was time to call it a day. Unfortunately, I didn't bank any carp this session, but as always, next time. And let's focus one of the big ones.